Good morning, happy Friday. The weekend is pretty much here. All week it's been. Very, very interesting. There's a lot going on in Siem Reap. Construction, construction everywhere. Uh, although the Amazon cafe over there doesn't look very busy. Anyway. Yeah, new places are opening, other places are closing. I've seen restaurants, cafes gone, but new ones have come. So, while I hear a lot of people complaining that there aren't enough tourists, I, for example, I'm trying to find an apartment to rent, you know, good quality, Western style, and at good price, it's very hard to find. So, there are clearly plenty of, or many, foreigners, expats that are living here long term and have rented the best places. So that makes it difficult for me to find something. But, as I said, in the meantime, pretty much everyone I talk to in the hospitality industry are negative. They are negative about the situation. Beautiful, right? They're negative about the. Uh, the negative about the, the, the fact that there aren't that many people here. But the problem with that is, and I have to say this, and I don't care if anyone complains to me, it's the government. All right. I'm just trying to find somewhere to sit down. Yeah, it's the government. I mean, they've made bad decisions. There's no doubt about that. I'm in the night market area, which is open during the day too. Government's made bad decisions. You know, building a, building a new airport in Siem Reap, which is almost 45 minutes away or further, was a big mistake. No, no thank you, darling. I'm just, I'm working, okay? No, honey. One more, save your shirt. Yeah, ne later. <laughs> they can't stop harassing you, but that's okay. So the, the airport in Siem Reap was a mistake because the one that was here, the old one, was fine. It just needed to renovate it a bit. It was five minutes' drive from, t to the, from the airport to town. And now it's 45 minutes to an hour, and it's expensive too. And it's, it's expensive to fly there because not many, not many uh, airlines fly there. If you, if you look at, just look, at, look it up. Jet tickets from Singapore to Siem Reap or whatever. And you'll soon see the prices are ridiculous. And you check it to Phnom Penh, half the price. But now they've done the same in Phnom Penh. They've opened that new taco, whatever it's called, airport, which is one more than one hour away from Phnom Penh. The existing old airport was just fine. It wasn't overwhelmed, it wasn't busy, it was good. All they needed to do there was a little bit of renovation too. But instead, they let the Chinese build the new Siem Reap airport, they let the Chinese build the new Phnom Penh airport to invest in that. But it's not going to change anything for tourism because the people just won't come because it's too expensive. It's far cheaper to fly to Thailand. It's far cheaper to fly to the Philippines and Bali. That is the problem. The government has to change its ways. Not just that, what I mentioned about the airports, but also their marketing sucks. Is there any marketing? No. They don't sell Cambodia. They just, they just don't. They let it sell itself. The only thing that's on sale or for sale on is what it comes is Angkor Wat. People don't know anything about Cambodia because the government doesn't tell anyone. There's no marketing campaign, nothing. So how do you expect tourists to come here? It's such a beautiful country. It's such an amazing place to be. Siem Reap, Phnom Penh, Kampot, Kep, Korong, Betabong, Mandukiri, etc. It's, it's fantastic. But how do you expect people to come and show up in droves like before they, before COVID, as apparently they did, if you don't tell people, if you don't do marketing, TV ads, internet, uh, advertising on TikTok, on Facebook, etc., etc., it's so easy, and they have the money to do so, even if they have to get it from the Chinese. That's my take. Up to you.